So today we're taking a look at the 9601A, which we refer to as a light sleeve. And basically what, what the light refers to, it doesn't refer to the weight, and that's a misconception of it. It actually refers to the compressibility of the barrel. So this and the 9601 look exactly the same. They both look like trial sleeves. They both function like trial sleeves. The difference is that this barrel will actually, you can actually collapse this barrel some. So for day in and day out training, this is what I end up using because it gives my dogs a little bit of satisfaction. They can, they can collapse a little bit. It'll take a hard biter without any trouble. It's not uh, anything that's going to cause you problems there. But it gives the ability for the dog to get some satisfaction out of kind of smashing that. Um, same thing with the uh, regular 01 is it's got some collapsibility to the front of it so that there's actually a crumple zone built into the front of the bar. So this at impact has got the ability to, uh, to have some give to it, not just what the cover can give, but what the actual sleeve can give. And from there, you can see the end of it, there's a... Uh, there's a, a hole in the end here, so it's got some breathability. Handle's got a, a nice piece of foam over top of it, so that it's pretty comfortable to grip. The sleeve is actually designed to be on your arm. It's designed to be, uh, become a little more part of you than some sleeves. A lot of sleeves you wear, and sleeves that we make, there's a lot more room in the barrel. This barrel stays pretty snug to your arm. And part of that is because I want the sleeve to become a part of my arm more than most relative to trial relative to trial sleeves because what I want is I want to be able to twitch this down if I'm working a dog out of a guard and I want to give him a bite upward I get good bite presentation and the bar and everything else moves with my forearm and my hand same thing coming forward the dogs coming if I'm doing something frontal dogs coming in again we've got some impact here some impact uh, resistance here if you've got inexperienced decoys there's some benefit to that um, and I can get good bite presentation out of this good protection out of the cuff which is pretty standard it's got a large hinge to it, and part of what that bigger hinge does is it gives me the ability to rotate my uh, to rotate the bottom half of my sleeve from the top and not have it catch. You'll notice some sleeves will actually catch on themselves. It's the width of that hinge that helps with that. It gives us the ability to separate the two of them and maintain some stability between the two sections of the sleeve and not have them hang up on each other. So they'll rotate around without a lot of fighting. If you look at it, it's got a cool max lining to it, so it's got a moisture wicking lining. There's a generous pad that's up here at the bicep area. It actually starts here on the inside and ends clear down here. So there's quite a bit of padding on this part of the sleeve. There's a pad built into it at the sl where the sleeve ends here across your forearm. So there's some extra padding built into the sleeve here. And then the whole thing, again, lined with cool max so that it wicks some moisture away from your arm and is a little, uh, a little more comfortable to wear. And that's the, uh, the 9601A, our uh, trial light.